<laughs> oh, I'm just going through everything. Check out this view, gotta stop for a photo. Hello guys, I'm here with another e-bike. This is Natco brand again. I have the F6, the uh, big fat tire, 26 inch bike, it's awesome. So I got this in, this is a full suspension and it's a cargo bike. The rear shocks have like oil fluid in them, so they're nice. And then it has the coil spring front suspension with adjustable preload over here and compression to lock it out if you want. Works really good. And this one has a 500 watt rear hub motor and a 48 volt 16 amp hour battery with on here it has you can see how much you got left by pressing the button which is cool and this has the lock to take it out and the control panel on this one I'll show you is the same as on my F6 in my last videos and we got five pedal assists you got horn light And also this has the same cruise control when you press the throttle and you then you hold it there what speed you're at and you hold down the minus key. It'll make the uh, little symbol come up and you'll have a cruise control where you don't have to pedal or hold the throttle any longer. And it has the six speed gear shifter. It's awesome. It looks really good. Look at the size of the light on the front of this. I took it out in the dark. It shined really good. It's got the 20 inch by 3 inch wide tires. They're nice. Tread on them. They should go over everything. But yeah, like I said, this came in and this is like a cargo bike. You could put stuff on the back of this and then they have an optional rack that's really big. You could throw everything on this. Big boxes, whatever you want which is kind of cool for transport and stuff. But we're going to take it out and give it a spin. All right, I'm here at the park with the Nacto F4 cargo bike. We're going to give it a run. Start off in pedal assist one. Eight miles an hour. Let's go to two. We're on this little bike path here I'm gonna go on. It's a little faster. We're going uphill right now. I'll try three. Now we're moving. Let's hit four. Switching gears. I gotta adjust that. Let's hit five, going uphill. Feels good. Look at the handling. <laughs> this little bike path's fun. I think the top speed on this is 20 miles an hour. Yep. Let's try some throttle action. Try some cruise control. We'll set it at 10 miles an hour. I'm gonna hold down the minus key while I have the throttle on. That little icon comes up now. Cruise control. Just cruising it.
I may take it off in the woods somewhere. Now when you hit the brake, it shuts off. Water. Good thing it's got these nice fenders. You're not gonna get wet. Ice. <laughs> Gotta love the ice. I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna put this in lower, put it in three. See if we can go off road here, what it feels like. Dual suspension. The rear's kind of stiff though. For my weight, anyhow, but you could let the air out of the tires. Whew. I wonder where this goes. You can put it in pedal assist one. I think I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't see a trail over here, so Let's get out of here. Maybe there's something over here. I don't see a trail here. We'll go off road here. Ugh. Definitely when you're off roading, you want to let some air out of the tires. I think I have like 33 in them, I believe. Let's see if we could go somewhere else. I just wanted to get out and test this really quick. try to find somewhere we could take it more off-road. I think there might be a spot up here. Let's see what's up here. fence closed I know there's a spot over here you could go maybe it's in here oh that stickers I better watch out uh, that's not good let me go around here I think you could go over here all right, I think I found the trail, guys. Well, sort of a trail. I better watch out. I'm hitting my head on this. <laughs> it's doable off-road. Maybe let some air out of those tires, like I said. And we're basically going through the woods here. I don't even think there's a trail. little trail <laughs> oh, I'm just going through everything <laughs> I 
think I have to go to the right. Let's see. I'll keep going this way. Ooh. Check out this view. Gotta stop for a photo. Could definitely take it off road. You just gotta put less air in its tires. You can get a nice picture by this tank here. All right. Working like a beauty. What I like about this bike, you could connect stuff on the rear and carry all sorts of stuff. They sell an optional rack. Pinner. I think the top speed on this beauty is 20. Handles really well. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Ran great. Another nice Nacto bike. You want something to cruise around on the street a little off road like i said and then this rack here you could put stuff on there you can make your own rack or they sell a big rack you could put on there and carry stuff thanks for watching guys there it is the first run and leave all the likes comments have any questions let me know and i'll see you next time